Hello and welcome to EU4 School with the Blobber. Today we are going to be showing off an advanced technique, exploiting horde wars for fun and profit. Regular Ming start in which all I've done is gather my army up, build it up a little bit. I sent warnings to Korchen, Haixi, Jianzhou, Korea and Oirat so they can't declare war on each other. They could declare war on Yeren. But I prevented that by guaranteeing them. So now none of these can set, uh, go to war against any of the others except Boyatia, who I can't see. But they're hordes. They want to go to war with a fiery burning passion. I've also fabricated a claim against Hayixi. Now if I go to war with Hayixi, well give it a day for the fabrication to officially complete. Now if I go to war with Hayixi, it means that my guarantee of them expires. This means that all of these other hordes that border Hayexi, Chanzao, Yeren, and Korchin, are going to want to join in on the fun. So, let's start crushing their army. They will especially want to join in on the fun if they see that AXE no longer has an army. So if we crush it, it can help to cause Jianzhou... No, he's already gone to war with Buyatia. As I said, we couldn't protect them, but we'll see. We'll see what the others do. going. Now, you just have to sort of dance around a little bit, because you don't actually want to win. You want to tempt them into declaring their wars. And they use their magic horde cheats to spawn units on locations that shouldn't be able to. Here we go. So, Yeren has now declared war on Hayxi. This is what we wanted. We make sure to win our war. And what we're going to do is vassalize them. So we'll just speed up because there's nothing else interesting until it's time to vassalize them. Okay, now, <clears throat> if we vassalize, see? Yes, it costs us the Diplo, but it will drag us into their war with Yaren. 
We can also minimise the cost a little bit by taking the province that we had fabricated on first and then vassalizing them. See, 110 instead of 130. Might as well take his money. I like the money. Now it drags us into that war with Yeren. And the beautiful thing about it is, is because it was a horde war, yeah, rival feud, we can, as we'll see in a sec, take all the land that we want for zero dip cost. Mm -hmm. Now that is huge. Admittedly, we only managed to get Yeren to attack Hayexi. If Korchun hadn't attacked Boyatia, then Korchun and Jianzhou would probably have also joined the dogpile on Hayexi. And you can basically, at the very start of the game, by vassalizing Hayexi, take all the rest of the Horde land using this trick. Straight away. So let's pretend that we're, we win against Yeren. Boom, we take, we take his everything. And if you wanted to, you could go transfer it over to Hayexi uh, to increase his um, happiness with you, reduce his liberty desire. But this is a really good trick for gaining large tracts of land at zero dip cost. I mean, you did still pay the dip cost for <clears throat> getting the original vassal, but if you were gonna vassalize them anyway, it's a huge advantage to be able to take this extra land for free, basically. You do have to keep an eye out on when the hordes are going to war, but then again, you can usually tell when that's going to happen. There are certain ones that almost always happen. These guys almost always go to war. Something happens between Kazark and... Uh, let's just turn off the... Um... No, TI, sorry. Something almost always happens between Crimea, Golden Horde, Kazan, and Nogai fairly early. Ryzen. That you can also do the same sort of thing with if they're small enough. So usually not in the first war because they're too big to vassalize, but between the first and the second war you can usually jump in and vassalize them and take advantage of this trick and a lot of other places around the QQ region. So yeah, keep an eye out when the hordes are going to war to see if you can control it and take advantage of it. Thank you for joining The Blobber here with our EU4 school. I hope you've learned something and will be able to use this to your advantage in your own campaigns. Goodbye.